My name is Brandon Gabriel. I'm from the Kwantlen First Nation and I'm telling the story of the hummingbird. And uh, there is an ancient story. It goes back beyond our reckoning of time. We don't know how old it is, but we do know the truth it tells. It is a story about overcoming adversity. When all hope is lost, despite us not thinking we are mighty enough or strong or good enough. Pay attention, this story will be with us for many years to come. You have a part in this story. It might be you who it is talking about. It is a story told by indigenous peoples up and down the coast of present day British Columbia and as far south to the ancient and modern worlds of the Mayans who are indigenous in South America. The rainforest was set ablaze by an unknown force. It had engulfed hundreds of thousands of hectares of land. Waterways evaporated. Villages were destroyed. There were many human and non-human casualties. The inferno was so powerful it overcame everything in its path. All the inhabitants of the world were forced to flee and find refuge in far-flung places, not knowing where home would be. If there ever was going to be, home, be one, hope was diminished. Then one day a tiny little hummingbird had found a water source. It had mustered enough courage to go towards the inferno. It carried a tiny little droplet of water in its beak. Then the brave little bird repeated this sequence over and over. Other hummingbirds took notice and eventually joined in. Soon enough, swarms of hummingbirds joined the fight. Then other creatures, both big and small, joined in. So did the humans. Eventually, the force of those who brought water to, to douse the fire overcame the inferno. Life, the ecology, and the equilibrium of between all living things was restored to balance. When the humans asked the hummingbird who started the pushback against the blaze, You saved everything, even our village. Why did you risk your life to fight the blaze, knowing you could have died doing what you did? And the tiny droplets of water might have done nothing to stop the fire. The hummingbird replied, I did my part. If everyone pitched in and we all made a contribution, I knew that we could overcome this calamity. And I know we will continue to overcome these adversities if we keep working together. And the part of the story that's being told in the mural is um, the morning after the fire. And in the morning, when all the creatures had fought bravely all night long, they were all exhausted. And Eagle and Wolf saw a hummingbird resting on a branch in, in the forest when the morning sun was coming. And they said, Hummingbird, are you okay? And Hummingbird looked up, confused, and Hummingbird said, I'm fine, I'm just really tired. And they said, well, do you realize that because of your efforts, we saved our home? And Hummingbird said, no, you mean we won? And they said, yes, the fire's out. We've, we're, we're victorious in our fight. And so the Hummingbird thanked them for letting them know what happened and, and they rejoiced. And so that's the story being told on the mural. It's the morning after the fire when they saved the world.